me see. Back the time is right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back with some more Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, and we are here to talk about my favorite new skill and my new playstyle when playing Monster Hunter for the rest of my Sunbreak journey. So I found without further ado, let's dive in. So the new skill I'm using is Temper Spirit Blade, a decisive silk by maneuver that parries any uncommon monster attack with a spirit blade. Timing is key. If you want to successfully parry the attack, but doing so will, will fill your spirit gauge and raise it one level. And the dope thing about this thing is wire bug gauge recovery is fast. So if you didn't know, as you go through, you can see the different levels of them. So Sakura Sash is the slowest. Soaring Kick is medium, and this one is extremely fast. And some people might be turned off to it because they're like, but DG, it's not doing big damage. But you fail to realize this skill is made to make sure you're using your sacred sheet. So how does this skill work? This skill works as it takes up one bar. And let me see, let me switch to it. Pull your weapon out. Boom, that attack right there. So what does that attack do? It one does this, this, this one hit does decent damage, but what it does is it parries every single attack Regardless of what direction you're going the, the attack is coming from also allow you to increase your spirit gauge by one So once you get a lot of these the parry attack Then it allows you to go straight into this move and get your gauge off to do your bet your big big heavy attack So let me show you my current loadout of how I got things situated so for me, I am just focused on using sacred speed combo. And the reason why is because I like it is new damage. It gives me a new place to, I've been playing Helmbreaker, Helmsplitter, Soaring Kick for the last four years of my Monster Hunter journey between World and Rise. So I wanted a fresh experience and that's what this gave me. So if you notice, I have both of my layout skills. The only thing that changes is Sakura Slash or Tempered Spirit Blade. And the reason why is Sometimes when I have three gauges, a wire bug, or I have two wire bugs, I will switch to Sakura Slash to build a gauge up. Then I i didn't want to have to switch back and lose out on that timing. That's why I put the Sacred Sheet on both sides. Because some people might want to do like, well, two plays that I'll do. Storm Helm Breaker on one side and Sacred Sheet on the other side. Me, I didn't. I'm 100% I'm committed to this. So I switch. Marshall's on the ground. I need one more gauge. Boom, and instead of me having to switch back to the other side, I brought this over so that I can continue that onslaught on that attack. So then, so that's why I really like this play style. That's why I have my stuff set up the way I do. And it works out very, very well in battle. So this is a counter skill, and it's hard to show a counter skill in the training mode. So let's go ahead and fight a monster. That way I can just showcase to you the benefits of it, why I like, why I like it, and my use cases as well. All right, so I chose Magnum Mala because he's a menace. I also want to show you can counter all of his moves, even aerial attacks and build meter. Thank you. Ooh, give me that. I'll take those. Hmm. Nothing there. Woo. Get in there. Thank you. It's just it's just that beautiful. He caught me on the back end. Woo. That's the only move that's kind of difficult. It's going to take some time getting used to because it wraps around you. Get out of here. Oh, they may just doing work. Sometimes the recovery is kind of tough to get the second one. Ooh. 
It's just when you get those counters, they're just so juicy. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know, sometimes you gotta take what you can get. He's probably gonna leave now. There it is. There we go. Once you get him. Oh, too early on that one. I thought it was gonna be another slab one. Woo. But once you get them, they feel so good. Thank you. Oh, I thought I was going to do a second one because he likes doing that. For everyone say that has bad hitboxes, you just have to make sure you aim before you use it. And that's Magnamalo. You have to make sure you lock on with L1. I mean, R is it L1 to make sure you always get those hits. But I love that skill for that exact reason because one, you can counter. Keep, just, we have so many counters. We can counter like this, counter with foresight. This is a counter. It's like there's so many different ways. And I know it's mind boggling at first when you start playing it. And I'm even still like getting used to it as well as far as how I'm into my master level of using this new playstyle. But once you get it, it just feels so good. Let's go get some other monsters and we see some variety. Thank you. I should be safe from that one. There it is. Thank you. This is what I was talking about right here. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't matter. Let that one go. All right, you know I had to end it with the queen. Ah, oh, I wasn't looking at me. Scoop. Oh. Leave Mr. Whiskers alone. Nope, wasn't for me. Yo! Alright, let's get started. Beautiful. Woo! Mm. Mm. I want damn it. I didn't want to get every hit. But I wanted to get that last one. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. It's like low key. I love how aggressive they just come in like that. So this really isn't about him. Let's let's go ahead and get the action going quickly. There we go. Ah, we hit the head as more. Thank you. Oh, so now we got a chance to play it out the way um you want to. Let me see. Back the time is right. Ooh, hey, baby, let's go. Let's go. Long sword could do that counter down too, baby. Whoa. Oh. Yo, I love it. Need I say more? Need I say more? Keep him coming. I'm ready. Is he out? Oh, no, not yet. I really need to sharpen too. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yo, it's fine. Scoop. Ah, that one's so tough. Really? You got wave to get up? Oh, I thought you were going to do is out of here. Oh my, that hit baby. That hit was too beautiful. So this is my play style for the rest of the game. It's too good. It's too satisfying. It's too much fun. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe, join the smooth family as we have a lot of more content coming up for Sunbreak. Stay smooth till next time, dear gamers. Sunning now.